Okay, so I'm here in the PC version, and I'm going to go to my MS Word document for fixed gut field analysis, and it's going to download right here. Um, okay, so it's coming up, right? And um, when it shows up in PC, you see these little balloons, and that's one of the reasons. First of all, I'm going to hit Enable Editing, and then I'm going to go to... Um, File and Save As, um, and I'm going to save it to this PC and to the desktop, and I'm going to call it by my name so that I can access it and know that it's going to be saved. Okay, so um, I'm now going to go, I'm going to close this, and I'm going to go to my desktop. Let's see here. Okay, so I've opened it on my desktop after saving it, and as you can tell, um, I can now see all the comments. I'm going to move it over a little bit so you can see it better. So now you can see all the comments that are here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this in Word um, for PC. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of um, ideology. Okay, and this has to be as I said in um, heading one. So we're going to highlight this and as you can see, see the styles here? I'm going to just go to this little button right here and click on it and I see heading one. So I'm going to change that to heading one. And heading one is not in 24 point, which is what it calls for for here. So I'm going to put it in 24 point and then I'm going to center it. Okay, did you see how I did that? All right. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now I'm going to get rid of uh, Keith M right here. Highlight it, and I'm going to right-click it and copy. Okay, and then I'm going to get rid of all this. Now in order to put it up in the header, I'm just going to click twice in the header. Click, click. Okay, and then what you're going to see here is page number. I'm going to choose page number, top of page, and then the third one down. All right, so I've got a page number here, and then I'm going to remember how I copied Keytham. I'm now going to paste it. So I'm going to use Control, the little Windows key. Actually, no, I think it's Control V. There we go, Control V, and then I'm going to put a space so that I have Keytham at the top. And then I'm going to go to this little button right here that says Different First Page, so that it's going to disappear from this page, but I'm going to see it if I go to the page down here. You see that? So it's not on the first page. All right. Now to get back into this window, I'm just going to click it twice. Click, click. Okay. All right. So here's my introduction. And here it says, um, um, okay, this says make this into heading two bold 14 point left aligned. So I'm going to go to introduction and I'm going to go to styles. And it's heading two, which is uh, coincidentally usually 14 point. I don't know why it's not showing up, but now it's 14 point and it's bold and it's left aligned. And I have a couple more of these actually to do. Um, I know it pretty well. I've done it a couple times, so <laughs> I'm going to show you how. Uh, so I'm going to highlight this one and then change it to heading two. I'm going to go down here and highlight appeal. And I'm going to choose Heading 2, and then I'm going to go down to Works Cited. Now, Works Cited, even though it says to leave it left aligned, I know that Works Cited has to go in the center. So I'm going to ignore the instructions a little bit, and I'm going to move this to the center because it's a Works Cited. Okay, so I've got all of the um, all of the uh, titles done. So I want to get rid of this right here. So there's two ways to get rid of it. Uh, the first way is to go up here to review and click on it and then I have um, this whole comment, delete comment. Um, I have to have it highlighted to get to the delete comment. There we go. 
and I can delete the comment from here, or I could just right click on it and I could just delete my comment here. Let me see. Delete comment. There we go. Click. Okay, so that's gone. Now it says to insert a picture of Greg Gutfeld. So it's really easy to do this with a PC. It's a lot easier uh, than with a Mac, actually, I'll tell you the truth. So I'm going to highlight Greg Gutfeld and I'm going to right click. Okay, so now I'm going to go into um, Insert. And uh, I have to unclick from Greg Gutfeld because I don't want to recopy that, but it's it's still I still have it copied. And I'm going to insert an online picture. Um, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to do a Bing image search, which is my only ability to do. And I'm going to paste in Greg Gutfeld because remember I copied it. So Control V. Oops, I guess I didn't copy it. Greg. Okay, return. Um, these are all Creative Commons uh, photos of Greg Gutfeld. This one's good. It's nice and geeky. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to insert it. So when it comes in here, it's going to be a little bit bigger than I want it to be. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to adjust this using um, the aspect ratio. Now, well, keeping the aspect ratio, I should say. So the aspect ratio is the difference between the, the, the height and the width. If I were to just move this like this, he would get skinny and taller. If I were just to move it like this, he'd get fat and short. So in order to keep the aspect ratio, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this to the center until the picture is about the size I want it to be. Okay. Now, I want to move it over here, and I can't really do that by just moving it. As you can tell, it doesn't really work. I don't think so. Oh, it does on this one. <laughs> that's that's really surprising, but I can't move it down. So um, I'm going to choose the position button here. Um, and I'm going to move it to the right like this. And then I'm, I can drag it down. And you're going to see these two really helpful green lines. That makes sure that it's it's set up so that it's lined up with the first line and it's lined up with the margin. It's perfect. So I'm just going to let go of it right there. Okay. Now it says that it needs a caption that reads Greg Gutfeld. Okay. So um, captions are a little tricky because they always mess up your, um, your layout. So I'm going to talk to you how, about how to do this. So this is still highlighted. I'm going to go strangely enough to references and not to to insert, which is just seems so weird. And then I'm going to put a caption in. Now I'm going to just put Greg Gutfeld. Oops, Greg, not Gred. Um, Gutfeld. All right. And I can't get rid of this figure one until after I paste it. So I'm just going to hit OK. And then after it's here, I'm going to get rid of this figure one thing. Just going to hit some spaces till I have a nice Greg Gutfeld there. And I'm just going to take this box and make it as small as I can. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you a trick that is really helpful for avoiding any kind of problems with your layout later when you have to do a caption. So I have the Greg Gutfeld highlighted as you see. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to click on the picture so that both of them are highlighted. Isn't that cool? Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to go um, up here to, uh, I believe it's layout. Yes, it is. And I'm going to find group. You see group right here? Okay, and I'm going to click on group and I'm going to group these so that they become one item. So I can move them around now and they won't, um, they won't mess up my formatting. And also I can tell that they're perfectly aligned. It's very nice. Okay, so we've got this all taken care of, and I'm going to get rid of this comment. So I'm going to delete comment. Hold on, let me highlight it to make sure that's highlighted. Okay, where's my delete comment? There we go. Click. Okay, now we're going to do hyperlinks. So I'm going to go back to where I'm teaching, um, I think, about the Mac stuff, because it will be easier for me to do the rest of this by showing you the Mac stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hyperlink these. Okay, so what that means is when you click on them, it goes to the place. The first thing is the Fox News program Red Eye. Now, this program doesn't exist anymore. So because it doesn't exist, we're going to use actually the Wikipedia for it. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to copy this. So I'm just going to hit Control and C to copy it. Or I could right click and copy it too. Okay, and then <laughs> I'm going to open up my browser and um, and I'm going to go to a new window and I'm just going to um, paste in by hitting uh, control V the Fox News program red eye okay so what it's going to do is it's going to come up with a Wikipedia because it no longer exists so that's perfect so I'm just going to click on the Wikipedia and then up here is the URL, the address, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my uh, Greg Gutfeld and right here I'm going to hit uh, Control K. Okay, and I'm just going to give this an address, which is the thing I just copied. So I'm going to right click, right click on that um, and paste it. Okay, and I hit OK. All right, so you can see that that's highlighted. Now there's another way you can do it too. Hold on. I'm going to do Fox News Program the 5 like this. Right click and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to paste it. Um, Control V. Okay, and then what I found is this one, which is the 5 by Fox News. Okay, and I'm going to grab the URL, as I told you before, copy it. Um, I'm going to turn it off really quick before it starts bla blasting at me. Okay, I'm going to go back to my document. Now, another thing I can do and um, is I, I'm going to highlight the 5 here. Another thing I can do is I can actually right click and it'll say hyperlink. So I can click that and then I can put the address in. You can use control K or you can use um, right click hyperlink. So I'm going to do control V and then I'm going to hit OK. So I have the second one hyperlinked. All right. So now we have Breitbart News. Right click, copy, I go to my browser into my browser. Okay, I'm opening up a new window and uh, control V. Oh no, that's not what I want. <laughs> what happened there? Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Right part news, right click, right copy. Okay, and then I'm going to go into my browser. Let's try that again. <laughs> and I'm going to um, V. Okay, there we go. Enter. Breitbart News. I'm going to click on it really quick. I'm going to grab this address. Right click. Copy. I'm going to go back to MS Word and I have Breitbart News already um, uh, highlighted. So I'm going to hit Control K and then Control V and I'm going to hit OK. All right. So there's three of them. The American Spectator. Click, copy, my browser, Control V, return, and I'm going to grab this. Right click, copy. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Word document. And I'm going to hit Control K and Control V, and I'm going to hit Return. Okay, that's four of them. I just have one more to do because I know that there's five. Here's Men's Health. Now we have to be a little bit careful with Men's Health because there's a lot of things about Men's Health. So um, go up here. So when I look it up on my browser, I want to make sure that it's the right Men's Health. Um, so I'm going to add magazine. And then the first one, th 
This is, as you can see, it says subscribe and save, so that's an advertisement.